Okay, so I've got the top off of the transmission and this video is mostly for my benefit because I'm disassembling it and uh, I've got to put it back together again. This is my shift Paul and I guess I have to lift this front gear set up enough to get it to come out all the way. Yeah. Maybe I need to just lift the whole front gear set up and out. And lift the second one as well because I need to be able to get the chain off. And rather than taking the chain apart, I'll just do this. The purpose for the chain, as I recall, because it's been a while since I had one of these apart, is uh, for the reverse gear. If you don't, if you're using this for a racing transmission, they eliminate the reverse. Come on. making this harder than it has to be for myself. There's one of the bushings. And then there's a thrust gear in there. Let's see if I can get this up and out of here now. I want to clean all of these parts before I put it back together. And I'm going to put new seals in it. I know at least one of my subscribers is watching me do this and chuckling to himself, I'm sure. Whoa, I just dropped one. And there's one of the thrust, one of the thrust bearings goes on right in here. did that bear oh it's a bushing that fell off that's okay I'll pick it up after we're done taking it apart now I can lift this out yucky now I'm gonna be soaking these to get all the gre grease gre bleep, 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 grease and gunk off of them this stuff is grease is so sticky it's almost like a paste on there here's the like the bushing that i dropped earlier and there's another thrust bearing on there there's the bushing that i dropped now you can see the grease in here and I mean, this grease is just packed in. And what we're going to be replacing it with uh, is we're going to be using some of the red tacky grease to assemble it. But we're not going to be using just grease. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I guess it's just crunchy grease. I thought I was feeling metal chunks down there but it's just crunchy grease it's all dried in what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be reassembling it with the red tacky grease and when I do that um, then we will fill the transmission with regular gear oil um, I have some that's 80 to 90 weight and I may get some a little bit thicker than that yeah didn't you always want to play mud puddles like this oh, look at 
that stuff. And this came off of a freebie lawn tractor that I got in Minnesota. It was too far gone to fix it. But the main reason I got it was for this transmission. Of course, I have no idea if the transmission is any good. Everything that I've seen so far looks okay. Um, it was a... I'm trying to remember what it was. I never actually... Um, I did get it running just for a couple of minutes. I just shot some gas into it, but I never had it running for a period of time. And it was one of the motors that went to my friend Micah, Big Daddy 1992. And if you haven't already subscribed to him, you should go over there. He does all kinds of lawnmower repairs, and he's down on the farm. He lives on a farm in more northern Minnesota than where I was. And he does quite a bit of auctions that he goes to. Yeah, so you might want to check him out. Look at that gobbledygook. Yuckies. I think I need to get another rag. Throw that one in the wastebasket. Pull out the bottom gear and shaft. It's actually the input shaft comes in the bottom, goes out the top. Now to get this shaft out that's down inside of the gear, you see the gear down inside there, can you? Yeah, see the gear in there? If I hold this the right way so that the light is shining the right way, you can see that. I need to take that off, and to get that off, right here on the bottom there is a snap ring you could probably see that there and there's a, a thrust washer and then I believe there's either one or two uh, seals inside of this and this is the main reason uh, that I am swapping transmissions the other one worked okay but it was leaked all the gear oil out the bottom and I had put STP in that one well, this one has a seal on the bottom, which the other one, the three-speed, did not have. That was a, a 400 series. This is a 700 series. See, it says right on it, Peerless Gear Division of Tecumseh. Now, I need a pair of snap ring pliers. That snap ring comes right off just like that. And drop that in my parts cleaner bin. Then off comes the thrust washer. And now you can see, you'll see it better when I pull the gear out. But you can see right here there is a seal in there. Let me push this puppy right out of there, and I'll take it right out the top side. Woohoo! Look at that, just like that. Now, if you look carefully inside there, you can see that there are two bearings down in there, two sets of bearings. And uh, they come in, go in from the bottom. So we'll see if we can. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and pull them out of there. I don't think there's a seal between them. No, I can tell that there is not a seal between them. And they appear to be in pretty good shape. Look at that. I pushed one of them right out. There's one of the seals right there. And that's all there is, it's just one seal. 
Now, in watching my friend over at uh, Twisted R Racing, that's Stacy, uh, when he rebuilds these transmissions to use in uh, lawnmower racing carts, um, he puts two seals in there. And we may be doing that too. Bearings feel very good. I hope you won't be horrified, but I have them soaking in gasoline. And I'm going to put a little more in this bucket, and I'm going to put a lid on it. And uh, I'll be setting over in the corner and make sure that I don't do any work right around it. We don't want any fires in here. But this will get it cleaned off really well, and then I can um, finish cleaning it in my parts cleaner. But if I put all of this stuff as greasy as it is into my parts cleaner, I'd end up having to replace my parts cleaner fluid, and I'm not going to do that right away. Not at uh, over 60 bucks for a 5-gallon bucket. It's a little bit cheaper for gasoline, you know what I mean? Okay, now I've taken the transmission all apart and cleaned it all up. And uh, inside and out I cleaned the cases again. This is the bottom. And I think the next thing I need to do is to paint the cases. Although, maybe I'll wait until I get it all assembled and paint it when it's all assembled. That might be a better deal. Um, I'll have to think about that. But I have some parts coming that will help in the assembly of this. And uh, just so you're prepared, we're going to be using gear oil like that. And this one is 8090. Maybe I'll get one that goes uh, 9140. We're also going to be using red and tacky grease. And that will be our assembly lube. And uh, we will use it liberally when we put this together. So hold on to your hats because, Lord willing, in the next video, we're going to start assembling our 700 series Peerless Tecumseh 5-speed transmission with reverse. We are keeping the reverse because this is not a racing cart. This is a goofy cart and we want to be able to back up, don't you know? Hold on to your hats. We'll see you in a bit. Bye now.